Hello, welcome to another Emma Ravensmore. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have an online tarot reading, for example, via Facebook Messenger, or what it would be like to come and have a face-to-face -face tarot reading? Well, today you can find out. Okay, so I've got a gentleman in today who has got quite a big decision to make. It's going to make quite a lot of difference to him. And Tarot is ideal for this. He wants to know down which road he should go, down which route he should go. Does he go down the decision where he, he sort of says yes to this or does he go down the route where he says no to it? He wants to know what his outcomes are going to be. And that's where Tarot is a little bit like a map because it will show, it can help to show you the end point of the road that you take and the gentleman has, has spoken to me a little bit and told me what his dilemma is and he's been good enough to say he'll um, appear he's quite happy to appear on this video I will like I have in the past I will disguise his voice just for privacy um, but what we'll do is we'll we'll have a look and see what the cards say Hi, so my client has arrived, my gentleman is here, and I'm just going to ask him a little bit about what it is um, he wants while I start to shuffle the deck. Because obviously, as I said before, I shuffle the deck while I'm actually listening to what the client actually wants. So, um, what is it you're actually looking for in, within this reading? What is it you're looking to find out? Well, as I mentioned before, I, uh, I've got uh, this decision to make and I wondered whether having the tarot reading would point me in the right direction. Okay. We're not going to go into detail. We're not going to go into detail what the decision is. Um, but I'm just, again, I'm shuffling and I find it difficult to talk when I'm shuffling. Oh. But... Um, what we'll do is we'll we'll see what the cards have to say. I'm going to move the camera now so that you'll actually be able to see the deck as it's laid out. So I'm doing the reading for this gentleman as I mentioned. I've just moved the camera. I'm still doing I'm still shuffling a little bit. I'm just going to ask the gentleman just to put some his own energy into the pack of cards. As I've said before, I don't actually ask my client to shuffle them, I just ask them to put their energy in. So, for as long as you feel, okay? That just puts the energy into the cards. And I'm thinking about what it is the gentleman has asked. Okay. Do it to where I feel it's right. Sometimes I sometimes I cut them, sometimes I don't. It just depends on how I feel at the time. Right, as again before, they will actually be the wrong way round to the viewer, to yourself, but they'll be the right way round to me because I'm the one who's doing the reading. So this is you at the moment. This is a question at hand. This is one piece of advice. This is another piece of advice. And this is the final outcome. Okay, now the cards we have out in front of me at the moment. The first one we have, you at the moment, that is the Hanged Man. That is a major arcana card, um, which shows that it's, it, it isn't more important than the minor arcana cards, but it's got more of a long-term meaning than the minor arcana cards. It's more of a sort of life-changing thing. And this really is very much telling me that you have this really big decision to make. You are in a dilemma. It's looking at something from a different angle. So it looks as if you've 
you've been going along one way, then you've thought about this decision you want to make, and you're suddenly thinking, oh, wait a minute, let's have a look at it from a different angle. And you're perhaps looking at things now from a different viewpoint, which has brought you here today, which has brought you to this, this decision that you have to that you have to make because you're starting to look at things differently. Um, I don't know what it is that's that's brought this feeling upon you, but you're definitely looking at things differently. Where you are at the moment is saying you're actually in a pretty good place at the moment. This is the Wheel of Fortune. And it's the correct way round, which is good. That's always a very good sign. So it's showing that at the minute you're in a very good place. Um, so you're perhaps basing this decision on where you are right now, in the good place you're at right now. Um, everything seems to be going your way at the moment, but the Wheel of Fortune is always there to remind us that it keeps going round and round and round. You might be going well, you might be having everything going well for you at the moment, but that doesn't necessarily mean it will do in the future because, and I'm saying that based on what I've seen in some of the other cards. Now, these two advice cards are very interesting. I will mention this one first. Normally I mention that one, but I will mention this one first because this is giving, this here is the Page of Swords. This here is giving me an indication of, that was your phone, that's fine, that's no problem. This here is giving me an indication of the sort of actions you take. Are you the sort of person that will act really instinctively you can nod or shake your head because mm. this the page of swords will just race in there he's got his sword up he's young and athletic and raring to go and he's the kind of guy who will just run in without thinking about it always thinking he's doing the best thing um but it isn't always the best thing it's not always the best he'll find out afterwards sometimes to his cost that uh Maybe it wasn't the best thing to do to race in. He's very, very spontaneous and gung-ho and just go, just go out there and do it. And, mm -hmm. you know, forget the consequences. You know, stuff the consequences almost. You, that's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. But it's tempered very much by this card, which is justice. Um, and again, justice is a major arcana card. And justice is has got the scales there and it's saying before you race in where angels fear to tread think about what you're doing weigh up the consequences um really think about the um think about what it is you're actually planning to do think about how what a wise decision or what a um what a bad decision swords is very logical which obviously isn't so much with the page because the page is very gung-ho but she's also got a sword there justice and it's saying really put some logic into it really think about what it is you're you're planning about weigh up the consequences work out whether or not it's the thing you want to do think about the time period as well um because justice again I mean, as you know, if you've ever had a, some sort of legal matter, these things, can, they can just go on for ages. So it's, it's very much, um, and also with it being major arcana as well, it's taking very much the long term into account, not just the short term, uh, which is what I was mentioning about major arcana and minor arcana. So that's that's quite an important card. It's, it's not saying do that or don't do that, but it's saying certainly really weigh up whether this is the right decision. You might want to temper it slightly. You might want to change it slightly. Don't just race in all gung-ho as is possibly what you normally do. Really think it over. Because then at the end we have this card. Now this card, as you can see, is the Seven of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Pentacles, this particular card is, let me show you the card. Mm -hmm. This card is very much somebody who is really fed up with what it is that they've got. Now, they've, they've got their vegetables, they've grown their vegetables, they've had time to let them grow, they've harvested them, you know, and they've done what they're supposed to do, but they're not happy. They're not, they're not, they're looking at it thinking, well, that was a, whether it's a crop, maybe he was growing um, spinach and he absolutely hates spinach and thinking, well, that was a stupid thing to do. Um, but he really isn't happy. He's really out of sorts. He's looking at it thinking, well, that was a stupid thing to do. You can tell by the look on his face. That was a stupid thing to do. So I'm, I'm in the, 
I'm inclined to believe that if you make this decision as it is at the moment, if you rush in, all guns blazing, and go for this, I think you're going to be looking at it later on, thinking, well, that was a really stupid thing to do. Why did I do that? And you're going to really regret it. So before you race in, really weigh up what you want to do. Really think about what it is you want to do. Because now, does what I'm saying here make sense to you? Yeah, it does. It does, it does make a lot of sense. Um, especially with the fact that I do racing without thinking and I do stupid things without thinking. And uh, I can understand why it's pointing to think about the long term because it could affect my long term um, situation that I'm in at the moment. So it, it is very, it's very, it seems very accurate in what I was, you know, what I was asking. Mm. And it seems to come through quite well. It's given me something to think about. Well, that's good. Just to quickly clarify over this, you're looking at things at the moment in a slightly different position, which is why you came in. You're in a good position at the moment, which might have tempted you to suddenly start looking at things in a different way. But this is definitely saying, don't run in. Don't. This is a warning card saying, don't rush in. Don't just go for it without really weighing it up. And that's saying, way up what your decision is. It's saying maybe you want to change it slightly. Yeah, it's uh, making me think about waiting rather than actually doing it, doing what I was planning on doing straight away. It's, it's actually thinking about, you know, we to wait a bit longer, perhaps see what happens a bit later on, like next year or something. Mm, yeah that would i would definitely with it being a major arcana card as well i would say that was a definite thing that you should contemplate that gives you a bit a little bit more of a time span as well that's what it, it seems to be telling me that that gives you more of a time span by having that card there yeah it, it, it is actually a decision i don't need to make straight away it can be something that's long term, so I can wait. Yeah. I would definitely suggest that that's what it's telling me then, very much so. Um, because all these three are actually major arcana cards, so it's telling me, do think about that. But if you do rush in, it, the, the path, as we were talking about the pathways, the different pathways that you can take, what's likely to be at the end result, this probably isn't really what you want. You you want to be happy with your decision. You want to be sitting there looking, thinking, well, that was a bit of a stupid mistake to make. Like the guy is thinking about his crop there. It's, um, so I'd definitely say, change it, alter it, think about it at a later date. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. So that's what you can expect if you come in for a reading and that's also another good another good way of showing you that if you get an outcome that isn't necessarily what you were after it isn't necessarily what you were hoping for or well there wasn't exactly a bad outcome but it was certainly an outcome you don't want to go for if you can help it that helps to show that those that the future is fluid it was a future card but it was a future card if the gentleman made the decision of racing in there all guns blazing as he as he told me um a bit later on again he was very prone to do so if he did actually do what he usually does it wouldn't it wouldn't have ended well it would have ended up him really regretting what he'd done so it was a really good idea for him to wait and that's exactly why the tarot it's a really good example of how the tarot can help you make some decisions and how it can show you where you're going to where you can perhaps go wrong or where you can perhaps change what you're going to do slightly to give you the best outcome so um thank you very much for watching another episode of emma ravens more if you do want to have a reading with me either by facebook messenger or you actually want to come to my therapy rooms here that would be absolutely brilliant so if you want a reading 
I'll have a close-up of my business card so you can pause the video when you see the business card and then that gives you lots of different ways of getting in contact with me. And as always, please press the subscribe button if you haven't already done that. Please press the bell for notifications so that you won't miss any of my videos at all. And you can always contact me via, via the information you've just seen on Facebook or Instagram. And thank you very much for visiting me today and I look forward to seeing you next week.